WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, it's a somewhat sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we currently have a slightly mixed bag out there. That mix is coming from the Dow Transports, which are off a little over 1 and 3 tenths percent, 183 points to the downside. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices are bouncing, and right now is considered to be a counter trend move. The Dow is up 132, the S is up, SP is up 23, NASDAQ 102, Russell's up 2, the semis are up 29 points. Gold is flat, trading out at 1716, silver's up 14 cents, trading at 1964, lights recruit up a buck 71.89. Uh, bucks to the print there. Natural gas is up about 44 cents. A nice move. That's 5% of the upside. Trading out at 872. And the 30 year treasure up 12 ticks. 132.24 is the current print. As we take a look at our nine panel market update chart, we'll see yesterday's big, huge down move. At this day of this game, it was nothing more than a test of support. Support being the bottom of its uh, daily profile. And that's at the uh, 30, I'll give you the exact number. That is at 39.33. And below that, you would have support at the center of the weekly profile. No, at the bottom of the weekly profile. That's at 38.98. Spot volatility still above its 50-day exponential moving average. That says any uh, concerns or rug pulls, uh, you know, you see quick moves to the downside. And that is until you see the spot volatility get below the 50-day, which is currently at 24.37. Yesterday in the NQ, again, nothing more. Big pullback. But nothing more than a test of support. The bottom of its daily profile, that's at the 12,126 level. If we take a look at, that's weird. There we go. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index out here right now, consolidating with inside its daily profile, that's between 110.53 at the resistance area, 108.49 at support. Goldilocks also testing support, the bottom of its daily profile, that's at 17.07. A silver. Uh, says, I don't know about testing the bottom of a profile. I'm trading above the top of my daily, and I'm taking on the weekly profile. That's at the 1957 level. You get above that, it headed higher. Headed higher to where? The $21 area. Lightspeed crude just traded between support and resistance with inside its daily profile. That means between 9108 and 8285. Natural gas now trading above the top of its daily profile. That's signaling another run for its TD9 count top out there. We're going to take a look at natural gas in detail during the Trader's Edge show. And if we take a look at the 30-year uh, treasury, it did close below the bottom of its bullish structured profile yesterday as well as the day before. Right now, you've got a bit of a hammer candle forming. There is a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that's been triggered. If you did get a bullish reversal candle today, that would confirm a bottom. But you'd still need to see a close above 133.02 to suggest there's any legs to that move. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. And we we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.